But through that process, Mike McDaniel's my running back coach. Like he had, he was a young guy. He reminds me a lot of um, like Sean McVay. He actually was in, uh, he was actually in Washington for a while, but he was a Mike Shanahan guy. Mm-hmm. So, and I think a Kyle Shanahan, and I think a, he was kind of that younger guy, uh, was really, really smart, went to Duke. Um, and, but like the entire time, he's like, dude. You're gonna be in the league someday. You're gonna be in the league. You can do. You can. You're gonna be in the league someday. Oh, yeah, and I'm like, no way. There's no way. Like, I've never even played this position before. Like, he goes, I'm telling you, you're gonna be in the league someday. So, to your point, I think it started to come like into creeping on my mind. Like, okay, like I'm actually making some progress here. So I finished the season. Cleveland Browns call. The only reason that I got signed with the Cleveland Browns is because Eric Mangini is a Belichick guy. Mm-hmm. My head coach Pat Hill was a Belichick guy. Pat Hill and Mangini coached on the same staff for the Browns. So did Pat, Coach Hill end up calling Mangini? No, but he knew that I played for him. Mm. And he knew that I was a linebacker, defensive end, and he knew that I was obviously a fullback. So they signed me to practice squad because that's one less spot that they have to fill right. on practice squad because now I was the practice squad fullback and the practice squad middle linebacker. 